found my new video for you today and it is going to be what's in my makeup bag. Now this video might be a little long. Um, I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible but this is my makeup bag and I got it like five years ago. It's super durable. I got it from Claire's and the fact that I got it from, that I got it five years ago is the reason why it's like a little childish and I do have other cosmetic bags but I just always go back to this one. It's like super durable. And I love it. So let's get into what's in here. Now, this is um, the stuff that I usually take with me like two to three days if I'm leaving the country, not the country, the, like my city or whatever the area. Um, and I'm going somewhere else and not like a sleepover or anything, but just like a mini vacation for like two to, two to three days. Um, then I will take this with me. Um, but to be honest, I take this with me if I go on vacations, like, for a month and stuff, too. Just because I'm very indecisive, so even when I go, I'd like to take everything with me, even if I'm, like, already know, like, what I'm gonna wear and stuff. So, that's why this looks like a lot. I promise I don't wear all of this. Um, and to be honest, generally when I go on vacation or even out of town, um, I take all this with me, but I just get lazy and I just end up not wearing makeup, so this is like a waste. But anyways, I take this with me. This is not normal, I understand, but I'm just very indecisive and I just like having options. So if you want to see what's in my makeup bag, then let's get started. Okay, so let's open this up. Okay, so there was like a mirror right here, but it broke, so I just got rid of it. Not important. Okay, the first thing in here is this Physician's Formula Nude Palette. It's just like a bunch of nude colors, whatever. I'm boring. I don't like colorful eyeshadow. Then I just have my uh, Rimmel London Concealer that I wear for like highlighting purposes. Uh, then I have this palette which I love. It's from Quo and it's called On the Beach. And usually like I take my naked palette but... <sighs> It's like too big and I had too much stuff. So I would just take this palette and it is an exact, okay not exact, but it is like pretty much like a mini replica of the Naked palette. Has all the colors, there's even some dupes in here. So I just take this and I love it. The shadows are great quality. If you guys want me to do a comparison, let me know. And I will, but this thing is awesome. Then I have just this lip gloss from MAC called Chocolate to darken up my lips. Uh, clear brow, brow gel. It's like actually mascara, but yeah. Okay, then I have this sample from Sephora with my foundation in it. It's the Nars Sheer Glow, and I think I'm in the color Sire Cruise. And I own the full size, but I don't want to take it, especially because it's a glass bottle. So I just pour some in the sample, and this will last me like two to three days. So, sample of that. Um, sample of the Makeup Forever HD Invisible Primer in Zero. Um, yeah. A mini Urban Decay All Nighter spray thing. This lip gloss from Essence that I love and it is called 08 Deep Rose. It is the Essence Stay With Me Long Lasting Lip Gloss. Love this color. Then I just have this Wet n Wild Quad. It is super old, super old packaging. It is called uh, 633D Suede Mattes. So it's just like all matte colors and I really like it and I really like this color and I use that to fill in my brows and darken up my crease and it's just like my favorite color of all time. So yeah, that. Then I have my Dior Amber Diamond Highlighter thing, yeah. And it's like velvet pouch that it came in. Um, love that highlighter. Wear it every day. Then I have this MAC blush called Eternal Sun and it is a pro longwear blush. It was limited edition but I think it's part of their permanent line. Um, and this is what it looks like. It is like a dark color. It's kind of like ginger um, and like blunt put together. It's just really pretty and I wear this whenever I don't want to wear bronzer and I don't want to wear highlight. Just this blush and it looks great because it is super dark and it's also natural. Then I have my mascara from Maybelline. It's the one by one Volume Express mascara. I love this stuff. I also have the Voluminous Million Lashes mascara that I love. My MAC Studio Fix powder and I'm in the color NC42. I have nothing barely left of it. Um, I do have a backup so 
Yeah, it's not a problem. Then my MAC uh, bronzing powder in Refined Golden. Love this color. Even though it's shimmery, it's barely noticeable on the skin. So I really, really like this powder. Uh, then I have this lipstick from Revlon. It's not a lipstick. It's like the Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. Love these things. Love this color. This is in 020 Lovesick. Oh, it is so pretty, so moisturizing. Doesn't come off even if you eat. Love this color. Um, I also have my Josie Man Argan Mini Color Stick in Rosy. Um, it's just like a very natural color. It's really pretty. And again, I wear this pretty much every day, to be honest, just because it's super easy, super blendable, and it's just like a wash of color. Um, Maybelline New York Line Stiletto Ultimate Precision Liquid Liner. I barely use this, to be honest. I just have it in case I want to do liquid liner for some reason, but um, to be honest, I'm probably not going to use this. My MAC... Like lip balm, I don't know, it's just like the regular lip balm. It looks like this. Um, yeah, it just smells really good and it is moisturizing. So, yeah, love that. Then I have my Revlon um, lip butter in 050 Berry Smoothie. Love this. It just gives you such a nice color, but it's like very moisturizing and it's not that out there. It's very natural, but still. A pop of color. I really like that. Um, this lip liner from NYX or NYX in 840 Rose. It's just this like pink color. It's very pretty, very natural. Really like this. Uh, then from MAC, I have my Gloss Creme Brilliance. This came out with the Chen Man collection, I believe. I don't know if it's permanent, but it's just like this clear gloss. You can wear it as lip gloss, also as highlighter. So for days that I don't want to wear like too much makeup, I'll just do concealer powder and use this as a highlighter just under my brows. It just gives a sheen, no color, no shimmer, obviously. So it's like really pretty, love that. Uh, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk as a base, obviously, love it. Um, this was in my... I don't know, but I bashed this product in one of my videos. It is the Physician's Formula Happy Booster Bronzer. Um, I did bash this product, but I found a way to use it. Uh, I like using these darker colors, because um, they're a bit more matte than my MAC <coughs> bronzer. I like using that to contour my nose. So yeah, I did find a use for it, which is great. Then I just have my moisturizer from Lush, and it is the Vanishing Cream. This is a sample. Love this stuff. If you are on the market for a new moisturizer, go to Lush and get a sample of this. It is amazing. It's called Vanishing Cream. Full size of it, though, is like $40 here. I don't think I would pay that much for it, but it is a really good moisturizer. Okay, another thing I have in here is my YSL lipstick in... Ultimate Beige number 3, that's what it looks like, it's just like a nude, really like this color, it's just like an everyday color, nothing too special. Um, then I have my favorite lip gloss in the whole, whole, whole wide world, like the right ink has rubbed off, it is the MAC Plush Gloss in Posh It Up, it is the prettiest, like, golden, peachy, pinky color ever, it goes with everything, I love, love, love this lip gloss, go pick it up if you haven't, or at least like swatch it or look at it, it's great. Then for days that I get lazy, I have my Maybelline Colors Tattoo by iStudio 24 hour whatever in um, the color Bad to Bronze, no, Bad to the Bronze, number 25. It just looks like that, it's really pretty, I just put this all over my eyelid for days that are lazy, it doesn't crease on me, it doesn't like look gross, it's just really pretty and I wear this when I'm lazy all the time. Then I have this white eyeliner from Annabelle. It's the Annabelle Cole in 116 White. Yeah, pretty basic. White. Yeah, pretty basic. To brighten up under the eye and... Black blush in Pink Swoon, which I love. It's like my favorite pink blush ever. Uh, there is a nice dent in it. I don't know if you can see that. But it's just really pretty. Really, really pink. Then my... Ew, there's like hair. Okay, anyway, sorry about that. Then there's like this Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Eye Definer Eyeliner in 261 Black. My favorite, other than the Maybelline Colossal 
eyeliner, that's my favorite eyeliner, um, my MAC concealer in NW35, this is like normal, like I showed you one before that was for like brightening, this is just normal concealing. Um, then I have my favorite highlighter for the eye, obviously, because I love my Amber Diamond. This is Max Rice Paper. Love this. Such a pretty Babylon color. Uh, my favorite lipstick by MAC. Um, this is MAC Brave. It's just like a pinky, nudie color. I love it. Um, pretty much wear this every day. Um, then I have my small Urban Decay Primer Potion, just to prime my eyes. Uh, my favorite... Nude Eyeliner by Essence. It's the lip liner, not eyeliner, lip liner. And it's number 11 in the nude. Love that. It really goes well with my YSL Ultimate Beige Lipstick. My favorite gel eyeliner, Essence Gel Eyeliner in 01 Midnight in Paris. It is so hard to find. Every time I go there, it is sold out because I'm almost out of it, so I'm like trying to get another one so I have a backup. But I just I can't find it. It's like always sold out. They always have like gray and purple and stuff, but this one is always sold out um, because it is amazing. But yeah, that. And then I just have, sorry, missing things. Um, this Starbucks, Starbucks, Chapters gift card. Um, it's, it's just for my bronzer because I like putting it there and then putting my bronzer. Yeah, that's about it, and yeah, I didn't include brushes in this video because it is already so long. If you want to see a separate video on that, let me know, um, but until then, take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!